Welcome back to my video series on travel and change. This is my third video. The first one was about airlines and air travel. The second one was about airports. So as you can see, I'm now in an airport. And what better topic to talk about than travel shopping? In industry terminology, this is known as travel retail and duty free. More commonly, simply known as duty free shopping. So what's the big deal about it? Well, here's a quick history about duty free you may not have known. Duty free really started after World War II. Not much travel happened during the war, obviously. Post war, transatlantic flights would stop over in Shannon, in Ireland, for refueling. There was a Mr. Brendan O'Regan who was the caterer at the airport in Shannon, and he saw an opportunity to sell duty free goods to rich uh, travelers who were in transit. He opened then the world's first duty free shop in 1951. And aside from whiskey, it sold, get this, honey, ham, cheese, jam, and eggs. The food didn't do so well, but the whiskey was at one third the price compared to regular retail. And as you can imagine, it was hugely popular. So there you have it. That was your crash course in the history of duty free. But what's the big deal about it? Some of the common questions I get asked by my friends include, are products in duty free actually cheaper? Who buys anything in duty free? Why would anyone buy anything in duty free when everything is available online these days? Now, all of these are great questions. The answers, unfortunately, aren't so easy. But let's try. So, what's the big deal about duty free? Well, duty free and travel retail generates vital revenues for the aviation and travel industries. Airports rely on shopping revenues to develop, uh, to help develop, uh, to help fund infrastructure development and to help them keep landing fees as low as possible. This helps to subsidize the cost of tickets to travelers like you and I. At many airports around the world, retail is now the largest contributor to this kind of income. It's known as non-aeronautical income. So, are prices actually cheaper and duty-free? Well, the mere absence of duties or taxes on goods being sold doesn't mean that they are bargains. The price of any item, wherever, whether in duty-free or not, depends on many factors, but especially on the cost of goods, the competition, and buyer convenience. Let's take a simple example. You know that packet of chips or chocolates in your hotel room minibar? Do you know that sometimes it's three to five times the cost in a supermarket, right? So the hotel is pricing in its overheads, its buying price, and your convenience, which is not to say duty-free is overpriced, no. Very often, duty-free offers good savings, especially for luxury items or limited edition goods, or other goods that attract high taxes in regular retail. So who buys anything in duty-free? Well, today duty-free and travel retail is a $70 billion industry with airports accounting for almost 40% of that business. Asia Pacific has a share of 42% of that 70 billion, and nearly 50% of the sales in Asia Pacific alone are perfumes and cosmetics. Of all the travelers going through an airport, only 15 to 20% end up buying something from the stores. In flight, it's actually a lot less, at only 1 to 2% on average. Why would anyone buy anything in duty free when everything is available online? Well, it comes down to a few key things convenience, uniqueness, and value. Nobody is 100% organized when they travel. Shopping is also part and parcel of the travel experience for many people. Aside from your needs and your wants, some people also appreciate the access to unique local products that cannot be found easily elsewhere in regular retail. It's also a great channel to discover nascent or developing brands who are eager to find a new audience. So with all of that said, the industry is actually struggling somewhat. Amongst the many challenges facing it is the digital threat, and especially from e-commerce giants like Amazon. So enough about duty-free and travel retail. Here are my questions for you to ponder over today. Do you buy anything from duty-free when you travel? Why or why not? What prompts you to buy? Or what stops you from buying? What would you like to see more of from the travel retail shops at the airports or in flight? And if you had one wish to change something in travel retail and duty free, what would you wish for? Again, hit me up in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and ideas. I'd be happy to engage. 
on any questions you have as well. If you are an airline or a travel retailer who wants to know more about how I can help you increase your revenues, decrease your costs, improve operations, digital transformation, any one of those things, give me a call. Have a fantastic start to 2019. And as usual, thanks for watching.